Now, in the previous example, the tornado, the point of bringing some of this to your page is now that you can actually move it around and resize it and write on it and annotate on it. Uh, uh, I can imagine that some of you feel like this is what exactly what you might want to do with a Word document. Inspire will, uh, these functions will actually get better in Inspire and there'll be future tutorials on this. But for the first week of school, it might be perfectly logical for you to put your syllabus into your flip chart so that you can annotate it and highlight specific parts of it. So again, we're going to go to Desktop Tools, and when we do so, you will see my syllabus here in Word. Now, um, there's not a real great way to bring these in right now, um, but this is one way I would use the camera tool because I might want to take a picture of a newspaper, I might want to take a picture of a page in a book or something like that. And again, you can see here's the wonder wheel. I'm just going to move it into the frame. Now, when I'm taking pictures of a syllabus, what I might run into is that spell check doesn't catch freezing or it catches freezing, and I might not want to actually have little dotted red lines underneath words like my name or Moodle or Moodle, um, for example. So what I like to do when I'm in Word is to do this. Um, this might be above and beyond what you want to do, but I just go to Print Preview. And when I go to Print Preview, I get the full version of what it looks like. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring this up to 100%. Oh, and I can actually just, I have, this is a setting I have on my computer. So uh, you might just see one page, but I set mine to actually go face to face. I'm going to use the camera tool again, and I'm going to take an area snapshot. What I'm going to do is just define, I could take these one at a time, or I could take them both at once. For the sake of this, I'll take it both at once. And I am going to put those onto a new page. Now when I go back, just one note, you saw me move the wonder wheel thing here out of the way. Um, it actually will take a picture of that if you leave it inside of your viewfinder window. So I actually just try to move it off the page enough so that's not in the screen. What I'm going to do is go return to flip chart. And now you can see here, I actually have an image of my Word document. It's not the most ideal, but it works. Because then what I can do is I can actually barrel button click or control click and I can actually lock that image down and then I have the ability to um, write different things like these are the required materials and th this is the information on extra credit. So that is just a quick overview of how you can use the camera tool to bring in Word documents and um, so that you can actually put the assignments or the worksheets that your students have in front of them, you can put them on the board electronically.